Hello all. Today we are going to learn about networks, network criteria, network categories and types of connections. How do I define a network? A network is a set of devices often referred to as nodes connected by communication links. A node could be a computer, it could be a printer or any device capable of sending and receiving information. How do I define a link? A link is a communication pathway between these devices to transfer the data from one place to another. The communication link specified could be a cable or it could be air. The medium could be a wired medium or it could be a wireless medium also. Now, every network should meet certain criteria. So the most important criteria that every network should adhere to is the performance of a network, the reliability of a network and the security of the network. What do you mean by the performance of the network and how is it measured? Performance of a network basically depends upon the components of a network. How are the processors, how are the, com the nodes which we are using in the network are. So the performance of a network depends on the network elements. It is basically measured in terms of delay and throughput. The performance of a network is measured in terms of delay and throughput. What is delay? Delay is the time taken to transmit the data, whereas throughput is the amount of information being transmitted per unit time. We would like to have less delay and more throughput. What is reliability? Reliability is how reliable your network is. What is the success or the failure rate of your network components? Is the system available whenever required? Is your network robust? This is how I measure the reliability of a network on depending on its availability and robustness. Third most important criteria is security. Every network should provide us with security meaning we have to protect the data against corruption and loss due to the errors and malicious users. The network should be of high performance, high reliability and more security. Coming on to the other topic that is categories of network. Now, as we know a network is connection of devices through communication links. The categories of the networks are divided into three types depending upon the distance or the geographical area being used to connect these devices. If it it is local area network, we have devices locally connected or the network is privately owned within a single building, office, college, campus, etc. The local area network is basically designed for providing local interconnectivity where the devices are in close vicinity with each other. The most common type of LAN is the Ethernet LAN where the devices are connected to the Ethernet using connecting devices like switch or a hub. Then coming on to the second category of network is a metropolitan area network where the name itself specifies a metro meaning a city where we will provide connectivity within a city from campuses to campuses or buildings to buildings within a city. In metropolitan area network, we generally make use of high speed connection cables such as fiber optic cables, where the metropolitan area network provides us with high speed network uh, ability for sharing data and resources within a city. The third category of network is a wide area network, where the geographical area is very large comprising of a city, country, continent or the entire globe. The best example of a wide area network is the internet. Now you can see based on the geographical area, how much geographical distance does a local area network spans from 10 meters to 1 kilometers connecting room building and a, a campus or a metropolitan area network which spans around 10 kilometers within a city or a wide area network, the internet which connects a country, continent or the globe. You can see uh, examples of a LAN, local area network connecting 12 computers. As I told you, the best example of uh, LAN is we'll have an Ethernet LAN where I will make use of the connecting devices like a hub to connect 12 computers locally. 
Then we have the metropolitan area networks where the best example of a metropolitan area network connecting the buildings within a city is the best example is a cable TV connection. Then we have, now this is the wide area network where we are connecting three branch offices in Australia, meaning we are connecting three cities in a country using a sub network through connecting devices like routers. So that was about uh, the network categories. Now let us move on to another important topic that is type of connection. Whenever we are talking about a connection being established in a network, what kind of a connection is it? Is it a point to point connection between the devices or a multi point connection? What is a point to point connection? A point to point connection is a dedicated link between two devices. The entire capacity of that link is shared by only those two devices. A good example of point to point connection is when I am opening, I am when I am switching on the television using a TV remote, I am using the infrared ray, using the infrared, I am providing a point to point connection between the TV remote and the TV set. What is multi point connection? As the name specifies, it is multiple devices connected using a single link where multiple devices drop to make a connection to a single channel. In multipoint environment, unlike point to point environment, the capacity of the channel is being shared between the devices connecting to that link. The sh it, they are shared either spatially or temporally. If the devices are accessing or using the link simultaneously, then the link is said to be shared spatially. If the devices are taking turns to share the, to use the link, then you call it as time shared connection. See the pictorial representation of a point to point connection where I have a point to point link which is dedicated carrying data traffic between only these two stations where the capacity of the channel is used entirely by these two devices. Whereas a multi point or a multi drop connection have multiple devices connecting to a single shared link which is either shared spatially or temporally.